Today, I'm going to share with you some of my secret sauce. It's a technique that I've been using for years to get paid while I wait for a stock that I want to buy to come down to the price where I feel comfortable buying it at. First, I'd like to salute you and congratulate you for setting aside the time and putting forth the energy to educate yourself financially. Learning about passive income is one of the best things you can do for yourself to improve your financial situation in life. I am Randy Perez. I'm a 21 plus year real estate investor as well as stock and option trader. And when I trade those options, I like to sell them against dividend stocks that I either own or want to buy. This technique works out especially good now in the stock market. The prices are so high. It's been going up for such a long time and people are wondering, are the prices too high? Should I stay out of the market? Well, with the techniques, with my secret sauce I'm going to share with you today, I think you'll see that you can buy at good prices and you can get paid while you wait for those stocks to come down to your price. So today we're going to talk about Lazard's ticker symbol LAZ. Now this is not a recommendation for you to buy or sell this stock or buy or sell options. I mean, I encourage you to do your own research. See if it's a stock that fits your portfolio. See if it's a stable enough company for you and one that you feel like has good prospects for growth. Personally, I really like to see the prospects for continued dividend growth. That's why I like to invest in a company like Lazard. And I saw that last year and that's why I wanted to buy some of this stock. This is not a recommendation. Please do your own research. So let's let the fun begin. Let's see how we can generate passive income on stocks like Lazar or any other stock that sells options while we wait to be able to buy it at our price. As you can see there on the chart, we've been trading Lazard since November 19th of last year, 2018. I noticed in November the price had dropped quite a bit. I felt like the stock was getting close to being a bargain, but I didn't want to buy it at what it was trading at then because I still felt that it was still just a little bit too high. So I wanted to buy it more in the $30 to $33 price range. And back then in November, it was trading for around $38 a share. Now notice it had dropped all the way down from the previous high in the early part of 2018 from $60 a share. So if I was able to buy it around $30 a share, I'd be buying it at a 50% discount. This is a company that I really liked then and actually I still do. So notice how I was able to generate cash almost monthly by selling put options, which allow people to put their stock into my account anytime up to expiration day if the stock price is below, below the strike that I sold it at. Now notice most people don't put that stock into your account until it gets very close to the expiration date of that, of that option, but they do have the right to do that. And I had been happy to buy the stock at the strike prices that I was selling my options at. So notice the transactions here. We'll run through them briefly. You'll see them there. There's little down arrows each day that I sold some options. And notice that this is per share, per share. And you have to sell these in 100 share blocks. So on November 19th, I sold the December, the third Friday of December 2018, the $32 strike put, and I received 20 cents per share. Move fast forward about 30 days and we get into December. On December 19th, that put had expired that I sold last month. So I sold the January, the January of 2019 strike put and the strike price was $32 and they paid me 58 cents per share. Fast forward about another month to January 22nd and that January put that I had sold expired. I looked at the February puts, they really weren't paying a whole lot. So I sold the March, of 2019, the 32 strike put, and I received 25 more cents per share for selling that put. Towards the end of February, the stock had been going up. Those March puts that I sold, they, they really were basically worthless. So on February the 22nd, I sold the April $32 strike puts and received 30 more cents per share. Fast forward about 30 more days, and on March the 22nd, I sold the May $33 puts and received 54 cents per share. Fast forward to that expiration about May the 15th and those puts expired worthless. I had sold for May. So I sold the June 33 and a half strike puts and received 65 cents per share. Again, move forward about 30 more days to 
June the 13th and those June puts were now worthless and I sold the July 33 strike puts and received 90 cents per share. Now we fast forward about two months. Those July puts, they expired worthless, but the stock was too high. I felt like a pullback was due and that did happen in early August. So on August the 7th, I sold the September 30 and a half puts and received 70 cents per share. And here most recently, those September put options expired worthless and I sold on September 20th, I sold the October 33 puts and received 30 cents per share. So you can see there that in the past 10 and a half months, I've received $4.42 per share, all while waiting for this stock to drop down to the price that I want to buy it at, the price that I'd be happy owning this stock at, and I'm getting paid while I wait for that to happen. Well, let's look at these returns. So there you see the total collected from selling these puts amounts to $4.42. The average strike price of those nine various puts that I sold over the past 10 and a half months, the average strike price was $32.33. The reason why I have that is because we're going to calculate our return. Now you can leverage options. I do not leverage options. I like to make sure I have the money in my account to buy that stock. So these returns that we're about to talk about, they are non-leveraged returns. By the way, if you feel like you're getting something good, something you can use out of this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button as well as the little bell notification. That way you know when we release new videos. As well as hit the like button and share with a friend. Share with multiple friends. This is a fun subject that you can talk to other people about. Creating passive income that you work one time for but get paid forever for, it's always fun to talk to other people about it. So discuss how you want to increase your passive income below. What mediums are you thinking about using or are you already using to generate your passive income? I'd love to hear from you what you're doing as far as passive income. So the average strike price is $32.33. Over the past 10 and a half months, that return, the $4.42 divided by the average strike price of $32.33, that return over the past 10 months is 14%. If you annualize that, add in another month and a half, if we got the same type of return, our annualized return on selling put options on a stock that we want to buy, but we just want to buy it less than where it's at, we will have a 16% annualized cash on cash return and we still don't own the stock. We're waiting on the price of the stock to come down to the spot where we'd be happy owning it at. We get paid to wait. Now, once this stock is finally put into our account at whatever date that will be in the future, at that point, we still continue to collect premium by selling call options. But the bonus is, then we get to tap into that dividend that Lazarus will be paying us as an owner of that company. And if you'd like to see an example of a stock that I've been trading over the past year, ExxonMobil, and how once the stock was put into my account, I began to sell call options against it to continue raising more cash on top of the dividend, check out the video that we did several weeks back on ExxonMobil. You'll be able to see how those call and put options can be worked to maximize your cash on cash return. So as you can see, you can get really good returns while you wait on a stock price to come down to the level where you want to buy it at. In this case, we're on pace for a 16% annualized cash on cash return. Now your returns may be higher, they may be lower, and I encourage you to continue educating yourself about trading options. I wrote a book on it called New Beginnings, The Option Trading Story. There'll be a link to it down below in the description. I encourage you, if you don't know much about options, if you're just beginning to trade options, check out the book. It's a relatively cheap read and I think you'll really enjoy the information. It'll help you learn more about how options work and how they can really put a lot of passive cash flow into your pocket before you buy a stock and after you have bought the stock. In future videos, I'm going to show you an example of a young person, 10 years old, one of my favorite people in the world, my daughter. She's been trading stocks now for over a year and her returns are really starting to pile up on her. She's really excited about it. So I want to share with you her portfolio, the returns she's getting, as well as why she's so excited about investing in dividend stocks, even at the young age of 10. 
I think you'll see that investing is for anyone, even young ones. And if you have children, by all means, watch this video. It'll be one that really can change the financial future of your child. Also, in a future video, we're going to discuss a deal that I did where I bought a 166 lot mobile home park, all with no money down, right in the middle of the recession. I think you'll really enjoy that case study. It'll be able to teach you how you can do no money down deals, even on these large, big properties like that 166 lot mobile home park. If you felt like you got benefit from this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing, hit the notification bell. That way you'll know as soon as we have a new video that comes out. I love teaching about passive income. I love helping other people learn the things that I have spent 20 plus years learning and how it has changed my life. I hope that it changes yours as well. This channel is committed to teaching about how passive income can be achieved, how you can use stocks, real estate, options, and dividend paying stocks to generate passive income Income that, that you work for one time, but you get paid forever for that income. I say, I don't mind working, but when I do, I want to get paid forever for that work. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I will do my best to answer all questions and comments as quickly as possible. Passive income has changed my life. It's freed my time up to do the things that I really want to do. And it's fun creating passive income streams. In this channel, I share with you the insight that I have gained from years of mistakes, from years of study, from years of hard work to teach you how you can generate passive income machines that put money into your pocket every month. So until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.